Hi guys, this is Param here. Welcome to my first video tutorial on Google Adventure. This course is intended for people getting to know Google Ad Manager from scratch. And I don't assume in this course that you have any prior experience with it. And to be honest, you don't need anything else to actually know Google Ad Manager. It's a pretty basic tool and I should help you get started pretty quickly. However, to really get a Google Ad Manager account, you need a fully approved and non-hosted AdSense account. So that's actually a pretty big statement, so let's break it up. By approve, we mean that Google will actually approve your account. So if you have sent your AdSense approval to AdSense and it's pending for them, you won't get Ad Manager account until you have your AdSense fully approved. Now, the second thing is, it should be a non-hosted account. So non-hosted by that, I mean that you should have full access over the domain where your uh, account is hosted. So for instance, if you have a YouTube account, that's also an example of an hosted account. So that will not count for ad manager approval either. AdSense approval can be quite tricky, especially if you're getting started. However, all you need is really good content. If you have really good content, there's nothing you need to worry about. However, if you have limited or copyrighted content, you will definitely face issues with your AdSense approval. And I'll recommend that you work with your editorial or, you know, blogging teams to actually get that sorted. Google Ad Manager is an ad server that is used to manage display ads on your website. By display, we mean all the banners that you see when you actually browse any website. You might see a leaderboard ad, you might see a medium rectangle ad. So leaderboard is an example of a 728 cross 90 ad that you see mostly on most of the websites. So 728 represents the width of the creative slash ad, whereas 90 represents the creative height. And similarly for 300 cross 250 creative, the 300 is the width of the creative and 250 is the height of the creative. Imagine what would happen without an ad server or how it used to happen earlier and this will help us understand why Google Ad Manager is an essential ad component in display ads. Now I'll give you a typical example. An advertiser approaches you and he has his creative slash assets ready and you know you reach out to your developer and you, you tell them you know our advertiser has given us a creative and a landing page URL. So your developer will think, okay, it's an easy thing. You just have to place a single ad and you have to just place a landing page URL. I'll use an image tag and an anchor tag and that's it. We are able to do this. So why do we need an ad server? Okay. Now in the evening, two more advertisers approach you. They want to, you know, they also similarly share their creatives with you and they want to schedule their ads in the same ad slot. So you reach out back to your developer and your developer is okay so we have another condition and we have to take, tackle another scenario i might write an if else case for that okay so that's not a problem let me do it these new advertisers give you two special conditions now they want to target desktop devices in the us and you reach back to your developer with these two requirements now this time your developer is quite hesitant and he has to spend a little bit time so he has two conditions. One is the geolocation or the geography part. So he thinks, okay, I might use a service that, you know, gives me the location and, you know, geolocation or the geography targeting is sorted. For the desktop, he's thinking, okay, I might use a media query and that's also not a big deal. So yeah, so he's still able to find solutions, but at this time he is starting to get a little bit more hesitant. Now let's add some more complexity to the mix. Now advertiser A is paying you $1000 but advertiser B is only paying you $100. So you know this is something that neither of those your clients have told you but you realize. So you need a way to you know serve more ads to the advertiser A than to advertiser B. And similarly, you need a mechanism in which you can tell them at the end of the campaign that your campaign was successful. So you need some reporting mechanism as well. Now, a senior developer might say that, you know, he can write the code for all these conditions and he might be able to do it. However, I would personally prefer to use a solution slash service that is already available. And I will recommend that you use an ad server. Thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe if you really like the content. 
Also, please let us know in the comment section of which ad manager topics you really find it difficult to understand and I'll ensure that I make video on the same topic for you. Thank you. See you in the next. Bye-bye.